And what the peers would say that being that the two things drive differently, operate differently, we should really never do. It. On the other hand, I had a bunch of paintings that were in absolutely great shape up until Sandy, and they were about almost 40 years old at that point. Mm -hmm. So they will last. And I saw no deterioration in it whatsoever. Yeah. Right? Um, to answer your question, once again, this March, you know, you know, like this is good for small things because it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And plus, you know, if you're doing a painting, you want it a little bit thicker. Right? Um, so you can use this. This goes both on oil and acrylic. Okay. The only issue would be whether you choose, and maybe this is a question for Golden Palm up and say, you have paintings that are oil and acrylic, you know you're not supposed to do it, but you're do it anyway. Um, should you do an isolation coat? Because mm -hmm. that I don't really know. Okay. I'm not really sure if, because you know, that would be good for the acrylic, but um, I, I don't think it would be good to do it on, on the oil. Mm -hmm. So it might be better just to go with the varnish. The chances of it being clean, or you cleaning it, very slim. Yeah. I mean, we believe we have better things to do. I've, I've removed the varnish before, and it's not easy. Mm 